MTV World Stage представляет. Lordy is a Finnish English speaking hard rock band. Founded back in 1992 and is it known primarily for what? Right? Winning the 2006 Eurovision Song Contest. It all started with the fact that Tommy Putansu, aka Mr. Lordy, a musician and chairman of the fan club of the hard rock band Kiss, decided, inspired by his idols, to create a musical group. He came up with the concept of Lordy in 1992, and in 1993 he recorded a solo demo album Napalm Market, which was really never released. In 1996-1997, the first lineup of the group was formed, Mr. Lordy, Tommy Putansu vocals, a man, UCC Jama guitar, Chi Steeler, Sammy Keen and bass, and Enery, Ernest Kavirta keyboards. Following the example of Kiss, all members of the new group took on pseudonyms, and the first stage costumes were also designed. To do this, they developed individual costumes and monster masks. They are made of latex and hand-painted. Before each concert, the musicians make up for more than an hour. Each image created by the musicians is unique. In the event of a change in the composition, the new member does not inherit the old image, but receives a new alias and a new mask. In addition, on the occasion of the release of a new album, the band members always have their costume designs updated. And the lyrics are mainly devoted to the theme of the horrors of evil spirits and heavy music. In 1997, their debut album, Bend Over and Pray the Lord, was due to be released, but the release did not take place as their label went bankrupt shortly before the album's planned release date. After the recording, G. Steeler left the band and Magnum, Sammy Walking, became the band's new bassist, and in 2000, Keita, Samsa Stala, became the band's first drummer. Over the next two years, the band scrambled to find a suitable label. And so in 2002 she entered into an agreement not with anyone, but with Sony BAM, or rather its Finnish representative office. It immediately bore fruit. Already on November 1, on Halloween night, the band's debut album Get Heavy was released. This rather dynamic and varied album dedicated to monsters, vampires, demons, as well as the praise of rock music, shot throughout Finland to reach the top positions in the charts. Almost immediately after this, the group took up an active concert activity, performing solo in Finland and as an opening act for the then more famous bands Nightwish, Im and Amorphous in Europe. Strike While the Iron is Hot Surely this is what Lordy was guided by and, having concluded an agreement with the eminent Finnish music producer Haile Halsma, they released their second album The Monsteric in Dream in 2004, which had a heavier sound than the previous one and contained darker themes in the lyrics. In order to make themselves louder in Europe in 2005, the band combined the best songs of the first two albums into the compilation The Monster Show for sale in Europe. After that, the band underwent further lineup changes, new keyboardist Awa, Lena Pesa, and bassist Ox, Samer El Nahal, came, who replaced Kalma a few days before the group was invited to Eurovision. In 2005, Mr. Lordi received a call from the Finnish selection committee for Eurovision and offered to choose two songs from the new album The Arocalypse that could represent Finland in the competition. The band chose the songs bringing back the balls to rock and hard rock Hallelujah, the latter by the majority of Finnish TV viewers, and voted in the semi-finals. In the final of the qualifying competition, Lordi successfully won the audience vote and were selected by the representatives of Finland for the Eurovision Song Contest. For the first time in history, Finland, a country with a rich tradition of rock music, was represented by a rock band. However, Lordi's election caused a scandal. Someone goes called the group Satanic for its image and lyrics. In addition, Lordi had financial problems with the delivery of expensive equipment and pyrotechnics to Greece, where the final of the Eurovision Song Contest took place. Fortunately, we managed to solve them in time. Lordi made it through the semi-finals of the competition and made it to the finals. The performance of the musicians was accompanied by a bright pyrotechnic show, and the famous rock singer Posse Rantanen performed the backing vocals of the band in the mask of Gene Simmons. Hard Rock Hallelujah won the audience vote, beating Russian contestant Taima Bailan and Bosnia and Herzegovina's Hari Mata Hari, and with 292 points, a record at the time in Eurovision history, took first place in the competition. The victory in the competition immediately brought the group a truly worldwide fame. 
The Finnish president and prime minister personally congratulated the group on winning Eurovision. In May 2006, a grandiose solo open air took place in Helsinki, which attracted people and was the largest public event ever organized in the capital of this northern country. After winning the competition, Lordi conducted the Bringing Back the Balls to Europe tour, visiting Moscow as well. The group increasingly appeared on various TV shows in many European countries, as well as in the United States. In November 2006, the group was nominated for the MTV Europe Music Awards, and Mr. Lordi presented the awards to the winners. In 2007, Lordi performed at the Download and Us Fest festivals, in 2008 at the Walk-In Open Air, and in the summer of 2007 starred in the horror film Dark Floors. All this was good and wonderful, but it seems to me that after such a resounding success, the group nevertheless went into circulation. After winning the Eurovision Song Contest, she has already released six albums, but they all turned out to be rather primitive and monotonous, and it is quite difficult to single out something significant and memorable. The group again underwent changes, both forced and planned, but this did not reflect for the better either in the quality of the music or in its diversity. Although the fans like it, otherwise the concerts would be empty, and the work on new records would not pay for itself. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.